recording through USB. Huh? We're recording. Oh. We're on our way back from uh, Fancy Food Show. And uh, we promised that we would answer a bunch of questions. Uh, we got we got we got a few, so we thought we'd do a fast thought on the way back. Yep. And just answer some. Well, you have the questions, by the way. You do. They're on your phone. Oh, I have them on my phone. Yes, I sent them to you. How, how'd you send them? Uh, what's up? Um, well, Kenny's searching. We had, we had a great show. So I've never been before. It was at the Javits Center in Manhattan. Um, and it was crazy. Like, full-fledged show. If you know Javits Center, the entire upper floor, entire lower floor, jam-packed with people ready to talk to you about food. and um, well, Lots of countries represented. I think, I think foods. Italy was very, very, very well represented. Yeah. France was there were lots. Well. Yeah, but the Italians were very represented. So I got to eat a lot yeah, of Parmesan. A lot yeah, of Parmesan. Yeah, lot of, lot of, yeah, of yeah, it was. Wow. It was actually really um, good. So it was a really fun show, but um, weird because we, we probably didn't see a ton of innovation, right? No, I don't think there's um, anything. It's funny. One of the questions was, you know, is plant-based as trendy in Europe as in North America? Yeah, that was one of the questions we got. I mean, there was some stuff there. Not yeah, as much as some, I would have thought. Yeah, not, not nearly as much as I thought. I mean, the lower floor had a probably an aisle and a half that right. was dedicated to plant-based foods. But it's also fancy food, um, so it was plant-based. All of yeah. Oil, olives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pasta, yeah. as long as it's not uh, you know I, what I, mean? I had a real education in olives. Um, things that I didn't understand. I got to do olive oil tasting, which oh, I thought I mean, was, uh, yeah, was ooh, with yeah. the lady from Ravida, and it was yeah. amazing. That's actually I thought nice that was, That's uh, really nice oil, too. That's a Sicilian oil. Yeah. Yeah, so I thought it was pretty ph phenomenal. And then there was, um, who was the lady that did the wonderful artichokes? Santagata. Oh, wow. Those artichokes. Um, okay, she had, oh, wow. just to pick it over. Blah, blah, blah. She had like the dried olive, um, almost like a dried olive candy, I yeah, would say. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. sweet, but candy textury kind of thing. A little briny. Then she had an olive oil, like in a candy type syrupy. Yeah. Mamma mia, that was so yeah. good. So good. Like that on a vanilla ice cream. Yeah. That would be rock star. Uh, she had a lot of nice stuff. Never mind. She had those, those artichokes with the in the, with the orange, like we're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The she had a whole bunch of stuff that was just God. like, oh my goodness. All her stuff was amazing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. her food was phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, gotta do that one. I just love that. So that was really good. Um, you like the Partana olives because you like the. Uh, oh, jeez, the Partana yeah. olives were. It, it it's gonna ruin every other olive for me now. Yeah, they were, those were uh, really nice. Those were those really really, really nice. good. Um, well, there's some cool stuff in that, and yeah, I mean, in terms of there was a, like there was plant plant based stuff was all in the American stuff, North American stuff. Yep. Like yep. all the stuff from Europe. I mean, a lot of it is is plant based anyway. Yeah. Like a lot of the Italian, I mean, seriously, all of yeah. oils, olives, you know, hard pasta. Yeah. It was all. Yeah. It was all plant based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. it was it was good. Yeah. It was good. I mean, yeah, but the innovation, I, I don't know. I didn't. Think I, it was I like don't know. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't think. And then I think that so, plant is plant based bigger in Europe? Hard to tell. I don't know. I I wonder if Europeans just think about it differently as I well. Think they do think it differently. Um, I think they eat. I, I go buy they, vegetables and make vegetables. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Seriously. Yeah. So it's a little bit different than yeah, like, kind of a North that, American. Yeah, and that, maybe it's just because they're not. Yeah. Um, not that they're not yeah. big on prepackaged foods. Because the prepackaged foods were everywhere, but maybe yeah. it's just a different mentality. Yeah. I, I really don't yeah. know either. Okay, what, what else was on that? Give me a second. List of questions. Okay. What makes a good brand? Ugh. It's hard. What it's makes a good brand? Um. So what do you mean by what makes a good, what makes a good, like a brand, like if you ask me like what brands do I like and you'd say, oh, that's great. Why do you like them? Like that mean? Well, like, is that what you mean? Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's the way the question was asked to us. I so guess, what, I guess one interpretation is what, what do we think? Like, why would we like a brand or, and then I guess a good brand is also like what makes a brand perform well, I guess. 
Well, I think, like, I, like I, there's I really some commonalities to, in yeah, the two, I, right? I, I so, what's my soft work, what, yeah, I, it has to resonate with me personally. I, there's brands I really do like. I like, I like Nature's Path. We talked about this a billion times. Why? I really like the cereal. I like how they make it. I like. I, 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 it's, it's packaged well. It's priced properly. I've got good distribution. Not hard for me to find. To me, that's you know maybe that's just, just that's just a product though. Oh, because what makes a great product? Well, two parts. so so the brand, Jeez, know, the brand to me is, I guess you know because I'm a marketing guy. So so to me, the part that I really love is when, you know, because a lot of times we. You know, we, we make things because we see a need for them, but we don't always answer the question, right? Which is, why, why do I need it? Like, what's in it for me as a consumer? So, like, I think what makes a great brand for me is when you are, you're, you're, the unique selling position is one that creates a question in the consumer's minds of, hey, I actually think i need this right but that's what because it's a great brand or yeah, a great product like yeah. it has to fulfill a need, a need. yeah well right to it has to fulfill a need and you to have to be able to say that yeah. you have to make people realize that they have that need yeah. to fill right so that's good brand yeah name. yeah 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 but right. i think it's part and it's part and parcel part potentially and parcel. but you know you could have a, you know a brand that's like for example like no name is, is, is a brand. It's a yep. law's brand. Yep. It's black and yellow. Yeah. But, you know, what makes it good is maybe the way they positioned it is more in the branding of it. Is they, they lightened up on the advertising the first years. It was really yeah. meant to be. If you saw that, you just knew that was complete value. Yeah. Like it, it, told, it, it never told you that it was a brand, but I think their claim, the their, their statement at the time was it was going to be as good as the brand yeah. or better. Yeah. And priced properly and they yeah. live up to their promise one hundred percent. Yeah. Right? In most cases. Some cases I've questioned it, but for the most part. Like like and then President's Choice went above and beyond. Like President's the, Choice they were better than the brand. Yeah. Like one of the like Fessy was one of my favorite brands. So if you guys listen to the podcast before this, uh, we we're talking about brands that we love and I actually love Fessy, but it answered a question that I had always had. Like I hate there are very few things I hate in life more than wet socks, right? I just, I hate wet socks, right? Like, so Bessie keeps your feet dry. I guess Bessie keeps your feet dry, right? Because it's a waterproof shoe. Um, do you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah, a really simple feels, thing, it but it's a, a yeah. You. Yeah, and then right? it articulated a need that I'd always had, but never really figured out that there was an answer to that, actually, yeah. right? So, I think it is in today's world, but your brand has to, Whatever you say your brand is going to be or do, you just have to deliver on it. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Because I think young people don't look at brands maybe the same way we yeah. used to look at brands. They don't screw around up brands. Right? Yeah. That's a tough one. Yeah. That's a tough one. That's and then what, one. sorry, like, what, what was the second? product? Um, so, let me refer back to brand. Like a great product, it, it has to, it has to. No, but, so, okay. But, so to me, it is part and parcel of the same question, but, but to me, that's where the, the parts that you were answering, I thought, were I like think price position, you know, price position, stuff, like your four P's. Like like value how, has yeah. to be there. It doesn't mean yeah, it's yeah. cheap. Yeah. If I'm going to pay a ton, it better be worth a ton. If I, you know what I mean? Like, I want value. I want this thing to scream high quality, high price. I, I can live with that. There's value in that. High quality, low price, even better value. But low quality, high price pisses you off in the wind. But then the flip side, because the trade side of that, yeah. Because you and I have talked to a few brands today. We've had a lot of time in the car together. Yeah, we've had a lot of time. Um, so, but we've talked to a few brands today where they have a really great product that fulfills a consumer need and is pretty good on the external branding side, but then margin wise are really crappy for the brands themselves it sort of falls apart on, on the on the and then on that, that and makes yeah. a not great product actually right because what well, makes a non-viable you know, product yeah like yeah, yeah potentially yeah. right yeah yeah because yeah. that's the, the, yeah we've talked to the three brands today and a yeah. couple of the emails and they were either all yeah like they're all really good 
ideas and they're really good um, well they're good products. products they're actually in <coughs> in the market today right. and selling but they're going to be but they're in trouble or they're going to be a lot of yeah. work to try to get them yeah correct um to get them moving potentially yeah. potentially yeah yeah those are so tough on me those are tough yeah yeah because it's hard i mean i mean it, it feels like if you start, it feels branding, brand, you know, different, different ways to look at it. Yeah. To me, it's got to deliver on the promise that you've told me you're going to do. Like, if, you, if you're telling me you're a great peanut butter or a great cereal, yeah. to me, as long as, as long as you've delivered on that, on the product level, and I'm happy with the brand, yeah. and I'll stay with the brand. I'm not, I don't move around a lot. Yeah. Like, I like my Nature's Path cereals. That's what I buy. Right, right, right. I right, can right. float, like, milk. I don't care what it is. It doesn't matter if the product needs to be Canadian, needs to yeah. be good. I'm happy. The branding means nothing to me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, so. Yeah. I got it. Like, even the cheeses. Like, yesterday, I have no idea what the brands were. I just love the cheeses we had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're hitting off the charts. Yeah. So, I was quite happy with the product. Yeah. The branding wasn't the important part to me on that. Yeah. Okay. I get it. Okay. Get it. If you could eat two foods for the rest of your life, what would they be? Okay. Is this with no health repercussions or? I'm not going no health. If we're going health, I don't really care. I'm not answering this question. <laughs> I'm on a desert so, island. So I can't these are, die from the food I eat. These are the most ideal things that I would eat. Oh, geez. That's hard, though. What, what would you choose? Okay. They're together, so it is a food. So I want Amelia's roasted chicken and potatoes. Because I love that one. That's one of my favorites. The kids will tell you, you that too. You want your wife's... Daniel and Carly would answer the same way. Everybody loves mummies. Roasted potatoes and roasted chicken. Period. Case closed. Oh. So if I can eat that every day... You know them, she doesn't listen to the podcast, right? Yeah, that's why it's like... So, so, it anyway. so it's not scoring you any points no, or anything. It's not going to go anywhere. This is perfect. I'll, I tell, love I'll tell her about it. Just I'll, I'll tell her about, about it. it. And then what else? Yeah, if anybody's watching this who knows Amelia, yeah, tell anyway, her about it. Oh, else. look at this anyway, guy. Anyway, anyway. Okay, so that is that one then? That's one. Okay, that's one. And the second one then? I'm just going to say pasta in general. <laughs> it's my choice of sauce. Because you're not going to pigeonhole me you that can't. one. Okay. Because I like, I like, I, I, can, I can eat pasta, chicken, and potatoes all day. I mean, I can eat a billion other foods, but I can live on that all day. Happily. Okay, you. Fuck, this is hard. Just cheat like I did. I I think I think one of them would be to eat sushi. Well, like all sushi. day, every day, all the time. Like you know, because sushi is like yeah, that's a good one too. Like you could have it for breakfast. Are you talking rolls or sashimi? No, nah, all of it, all of it, all, all of it. Like just a know. sushi restaurant. I think. Maybe 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 I just get a like on a desert island. I get a sushi boat. Every day, Ooh, that'd be nice, right? So, yeah, it, like, yeah. you you keep the rolls for yeah, breakfast. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. You do some California rolls for lunch. Yeah, I can do that. We we used to go skiing with um, a friend of ours who's Korean, and his mom would pack us California rolls. And the first time I did, it, I was like, "This is weird." And he was like, "Dude, like, stack up six of them, saran wrap them, throw them in your jacket pocket, and then." We'll have them for lunch. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? This is madness. And then we sat on the side of the mountain and had California rules for lunch. It was awesome. Just awesome. So anyway, so I think I think sushi would be one of them. Okay. Two. I, I know, I know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I think the other one is fried chicken. I love fried chicken. I like all day, all the time, anytime, like death by fried chicken. Yeah. You know, like got, even like a cup and you know, fried yeah, like yeah, yeah, anything, like, anything, anything, or like a KFC kind of yeah, style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like if you're it. listening to this and you have a favorite fried chicken place, wherever you or are recipe. in the world, or recipe. Is that like cooking? Send us those because we. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. 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 Fried chicken. There you go. What Two. food would kill you to give up? Well, that's not on that list. Sure it is. That's my <laughs> list. My phone. <laughs> it's my phone. Uh, 
what food would kill me to give up? Yeah. Like you, what food that you take? Or food, food, food group even. It's got to be tight group. Bread. Let's say vegetables. Bread. Bread is like cutting down carbs has been carbs key like, to like, yeah. I've been losing weight, right? Yeah. But like reducing the amount of carbs I eat has been key to the whole thing. And yeah. I just can't like. Yeah. I was gonna say cheese, but you know what? Maybe bread's a bread. No, no, no. Bread's no. a tough. No, one. no. Cheese, cheese. I could, you know, honestly, in a heartbeat, I could give yeah. up cheese. I can't give you up know? the bread because I need it with the, the pasta, bread, and the potatoes, but bread, and like bread chicken, goes so with everything. Go, yeah, like you have pasta, bread. you need bread. Yeah, I need bread. You know, yeah. You have a you have a nice bowl of fried rice. You might have some bread after. You like know, I it all up. like and then and then like there's all the coconut buns that have bread in it. Uh, yeah, I can't give up bread. You know? No, I'm like, on bread too. Bread you too. go to France, so the first thing you get is a croissant uh, and then a baguette. Baguette, yeah. And then, ah, uh, you know, like... I forget it. That's, that's where I'm going to. Bread. You have a nice hamburger, the bread. We have pumpernickel with... Um, ooh, we had breakfast with Taz today. Um, and we went to this lovely place. Oh, and we had was good. pumpernickel. I didn't have pumpernickel. Oh, you didn't? No, I had a... Also, right, right. You had you had, uh, all dressed or all uh, all everything, season. whatever. Everybody dressed. All yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, but like I had this. Anyway, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Bread. Bread yeah, is like. Impossible. Man, no, bread would be impossible. Maybe even more so than pasta. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Well, look. If we're talking about the greater food group, carbs in general. Oh, carbs in general, I can't give up. That's impossible. like I can't go anywhere. You know, anywhere we travel, like within three days, I need carbs. Yeah, three days, right? right? I, I, like I, I three days. Be, no, like got, I'll yeah. get twitchy after two, but um, I can hold out for yeah. three. That's so, fine. but yeah. Anyway, okay. Um, that is it. We we had a great time at the show. show. Uh, some really cool stuff. Yeah. Um, we posted some stuff too. There were um, both of us had a favorite drink there. Uncle Waitley's. <laughs> I think it's called it's Uncle nice Waitley. Um, check our Instagram feed. We actually found it and bought some. Because the thing is, like, sometimes you, sometimes you, um, it's like a ginger. Okay, what it is? Lemon, it's a ginger beer. Ginger with beer. A scotch bonnet. Oh, that's beer. what it was. That's what so it was. It's yeah. got the, the heat of the ginger and then the scotch bonnet on top. Oh my god, Uncle, what? what how do you say? It? Maybe W-A-I-T-H-L-E-Y-S. Spell it. Yeah. Waitley's? Waitley's? Waitley, no, say the Waitley's. Waitley's, Wait, I guess. Uncle, Uncle Waitley's. Waitley's. Yeah. Small yeah. batch ginger beer. It was, wow, it was so good. And so we, we did, I bought it because um, when you get into the little sample cups, it's like pack full of flavor and tiny, yeah, tiny, tiny that. shots, right? Um, that, but that's that point of the other side. Way, sorry. Yeah, there you go. This one is um, my but uh, but we, we bought it, we drank it. That's yeah, good. I really and like it. The whole bottle, and it was it was as good from the first drop as it was to the last. Right? Do you want something else that might be really cool? Yeah. Can I show you guys this one too? So, Jada was at the show. Oh, right? that's right. And she's coming out with a pasta line. Yeah. Where normally I don't give a shit what these celebrities do. I'm not interested. So I'm sorry. I'm not, I don't really care. Whatever, whatever you want. But you know what I really liked when I saw first off the packaging is very interesting. Yeah. She picked really, really interesting and cool cuts. Okay. Like she picked some really, really cool cuts. I didn't know half of them. I didn't even know what the hell they were. Okay. Like she's got this spiral tube thing that was amazing. Okay. She had like uh, really interesting square cuts that were almost like a like macaroni the sheets of macaroni yeah, 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 that yeah, way yeah. Yeah. And, and rich but they're like a lasagna but not yeah. really like she just has a really, really she did a really nice job and on she, but she's super serious about like so so well, she's this not, show she's serious about pasta. so this show was enlightening for me too because I am a Neanderthal that way I love my food but oh, I don't really but I don't really understand pasta at all um, but Giada Giada picked, um, like Giada's pasta comes from a particular region. Giada's pasta comes from Abruzzo. Abruzzo. Right? Right. But the beautiful thing about her pasta, it's with 100% Abruzzo wheat. Okay. And 100% Abruzzo water. Okay. So the water from the mountain comes down and it also feeds the valley where the wheat is grown. But the wheat is not, like most Italian pasta, 
that we get is our wheat. They buy the wheat from Canada, we ship it over there, they mix it with theirs, or not. Most times they mix it with theirs because there's not enough wheat. And then they we, then they sell it all over the world. Right, right, right. With, right, with, yeah. with hers, it's a small company that owns their own fields and they only produce for themselves. Artisanally everything. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Wow. I don't think we're supposed to say who doesn't, so I don't because we know who makes it for it or we're allowed to say. But I test it a Bruzzo. It's an Abruzzo and it's the pasta guys in Abruzzo who only use Italian. Ah, yeah, yeah. Those guys are you passionate your about their pasta. Yeah, I'm not saying anyone. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I learned a whole bunch of things I didn't know before. Really good. I thought it was kind of cool. Really good. Otherwise, a good show. Yeah, that's a very good show. I enjoyed it. Okay, that's it. Until next year. Bye, guys. Ciao, guys.